What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some really exciting news about a potential banger of a matchup that's been a long time coming. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to see more videos just like this. Now let's get into it. Chuck Liddell arrested over alleged domestic violence. The legendary Iceman is in the news, but not for anything good. But it's also not what you think. TMZ is reporting that the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department arrested MMA legend and UFC Hall of Famer Chuck Liddell for misdemeanor domestic battery at his home on October 11th and was booked shortly before 2 a.m. on Monday. Outlets reported that police responded to a family disturbance call at around midnight and deputies say that Liddell and his wife were involved in a physical altercation, according to reports. The 51-year-old legend was held at Lost Hill Sheriff Station with bail set at $20,000 and is due to appear in court on Wednesday. But the story doesn't end here. Liddell took to Instagram to post a statement and said he volunteered to go with deputies in his wife's place and that he was the victim of the incident. The statement read, quote, I was the victim of the incident last night at our family home, as details of the case will reveal. The deputies informed me that my wife would be arrested as I did not respond to her assault while I sustained bruising and lacerations. I volunteered to go in her place. This was one of the many times I've tried to shield the family mental health issue from the public purview. It has become painfully apparent that this cannot continue as our private life has now reached a public breaking point. Please respect our privacy as I help to navigate our family through this difficult time. Wow, it's not every day that you hear about the arrest of a UFC Hall of Famer let alone they voluntarily get arrested in lieu of their spouse. What are your thoughts about this situation? There's no easy way to really say it, but the fight is off in New York. I ended up herniating a disc in my back, L4, L5, and the doc said it's nothing I can play with. I need mean, some treatment, some recovery time. And some things just aren't meant to be. New York, motherfucking New York. I'm sorry to the friends and the family and the peeps and all the people, but We'll be back. Until next time. Conor McGregor takes dig at Dustin Poirier while praising Fury Wilder trilogy. Just days after the fight, everyone is still talking about the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury trilogy fight, including Conor McGregor. The former two division UFC champion praised the two heavyweights for the instant classic that they delivered in Las Vegas over the weekend, in which Fury knocked out Wilder in the 11th round to defend the WBC and the Ring Magazine heavyweight titles. Here, he showers praise on both fighters for delivering an absolute war that will go down in the annals of boxing history as one of the greatest bouts ever. This is what the Notorious One had to say about the boxing fight on his Twitter account. Great fight, that. Both warriors, both winners. Hard to not be impressed with Deontay there. Against the much larger man and almost got it done. Great fight. 40 pounds in weight difference is a lot. Fair play both men there. Very enjoyable fights they have had together. Respect. Their skill levels are unique, but very close. A great heavyweight trilogy that was. I love when it gets set for certain and both have an honorable showing. Not the fam in the ring fake celebrating after a freak injury, etc. You know the gig. God bless the real in this world. Congrats, Tyson and Paris. Me and Dee are so happy for you and the kids. Congrats, Deontay and Telly also. Was great meeting you guys recently. A real proud showing that was and could have went either way. Amazing. Happy Sunday now today with the cheddar and the memories. God bless. No, McGregor is no stranger to boxing or trilogies, but just this past July, the Notorious One's leg broke during his trilogy fight against Dustin Poirier at UFC 264. The doctor stoppage put an end to a suddenly heated rivalry that included everything from talking smack about wives to allegations of unpaid charity donations. In fact, in his statements, McGregor couldn't help himself but give a dig to Dustin Poirier. Still, what do you think about McGregor showering both Fury and Wilder with praise here? And what do you think about this instant classic of a war that we saw in the boxing ring over the weekend? What did you think about Fury's singing skills after the bout also? Justin Gagey says Charles Oliveira still has quit in him. And just when you thought everything was all rainbows and ponies, we have Justin Gagey to bring us right back down to earth as he talks some trash on UFC lightweight champion Charles Oliveira. It seems like Gagey is still pretty salty about not getting a crack at the lightweight title yet. While everyone is praising the champion Oliveira for winning 8 out of his last 10 fights and dismantling the likes of Tony Ferguson and Michael Chandler, Gagey is not impressed. Case in point, during a UFC promo video, the highlight reel said, quote, 
I have to put, I guess we'll just put Charles Oliveira at the top because of the champ, but he is not the best in this weight class. I can promise you that. He still has quit and it's not even very deep down inside of him. But I'll put him at one for now. He still has quit in him? Is Gagey calling out the champion? You know he's still seething over being passed over for a title shot this past July. Gagey was the last person to lose a lightweight title fight against now former champion and retired GOAT, Habib Nurmagomedov, which took place last year. To finish off his top five, Gagey then says it's Poirier two, me three, Darius four, and Chandler five. But Gagey is being honest here. Why? Because he put Poirier over him. His explanation for this is pretty revealing. Now Poirier two, me three, um, Darius four, Chandler five. No, no, Connor has one win in this weight class, ever. That's where I am right now. I mean, Dustin Poirier beat me, I'm not gonna put myself above him. I'm better than Charles Oliveira. It goes Dustin Poirier, then it goes me. And then it goes Charles Oliveira. And then it goes Darius, and then it goes Chandler. And um, only me and uh, Poirier know. You know, he beat me that night, but I was out taking pictures all night, I took like a thousand pictures that night after that fight, and he was in the hospital. And he didn't move for a month, so I'm ready to get that one back here. Even while being honest and giving a little praise, Gagey still digs at Poirier, and honestly, we're here for it, and would love to see a rematch between the two. As for Conor McGregor, Gagey doesn't even put him in the top 10, because as he says, Conor has one win in the weight class, ever. What do you make of the highlight reels lightweight rankings? And who makes your list of the top five fighters in the lightweight division? Before we get into today's top story, take a second to like the video. It really helps us out. Now on to the food court melee to go down at final pay-per-view of the year at UFC 269. Who ordered the three piece in a soda? It looks like the UFC did because we're gonna get a banger of a fight at UFC 269 this December when Jorge Masvidal and Leon Edwards square up for a welterweight grudge match. Leon Edwards has been knocking on the title shot door for several years and is currently on a nine fight win streak, if you don't count the doctor stoppage of the Bilal Muhammad fight earlier this year. Jorge Masvidal, meanwhile, is coming off a brutal knockout loss to welterweight champion Kamaru Usman. But this fight between Edwards and Masvidal has been in the making for at least two years following their backstage scuffle at UFC London in March of 2019, right after Masvidal beat Darren Till. While Masvidal was being interviewed backstage, Edwards was walking past and he was heckling Masvidal. Well, Gamebred took that as a fast food order and walked up to Edwards to deliver his three-piece and a soda combo to the Jamaican Brit's face. Thus, a meme was born. Now, after years of trash talk, the two will finally meet in the cage this December. And while we don't know where exactly it'll take place, we're guessing the beautiful T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. This will be a three round fight, but it doesn't matter because both men are certainly looking to finally get their hands on one another. So this is expected to be a really competitive bout. Now that the cat's out of the bag and the fight's been announced, Masvidal took to Twitter to deliver a powerful yet lengthy message ahead of the fight. You're welcome. Hashtag super necessary. Super necessario indeed. In fact, UFC 269 is looking to become a banger of a night with Charles Oliveira taking on Dustin Poirier for the lightweight title and Amanda Nunes defending the women's bantamweight title against Juliana Pena. But when it comes to Masvidal and Edwards, who you got on this one? 